let's move on to uh, Chrome updates and the trends that we're seeing in the process that Google has set out for freezing user agents and transitioning to a what they call a user agent client hits. Won't go into a whole lot of detail here uh, about this. It, there are blogs that we've written that are on our website that you can read. There's a blog in particular about this that has links to uh, a full discussion of the process of freezing user agents and transitioning to client hits. Uh, Amar, keep me, uh, technically, the, the difference between the two is uh, when a HTTP request is made, uh, typically the browser would send a user agent string. And this is the way the internet has uh, operated for, since almost the beginning, uh, to communicate you know, what the client is and, and what the, the device and the, uh, the browser the operating system. And uh, this is a crucial part of device detection, which is what Werfel and Scientia Mobile does. Um, but their Google, because they have the power to do this, has decided to transition to a newer technology uh, to replace this called user agent client hints. And uh, instead of the request just sending information, it's more of a negotiation that goes on where uh, the server has to ask for this information and the client responds back. And these user agent client hints are, there are a number of different type of client hints. The user agent client hints are intended to replace most of the information that was originally found in the uh, user agent string. Um, so, in terms of where we are in the timeline, uh, back at the beginning of the year of 2022, uh, Google put out this timeline that showed the progression that they would make uh, both on desktop browsers and mobile browsers to migrate. And when they migrate uh, from the user agent string to the user agent client hints, uh, it's not that the, they're getting rid of the user agent string. They're just freezing it where it is. This can be rather confusing for a lot of people. Um, but the, the reality is that from Werfel's device detection standpoint, we already have integrated user agent client hints into our technology. Uh, today, we're, we're currently reading uh, every user agent client hints that comes to us. And, uh, but we're seeing them primarily on the desktop. Um, but we're ready and accurately detecting devices. One of the questions we had was, you know, going back to this whole idea of, you know, how quickly are uh, devices actually updating their, their, their Chrome? Because you, you're not gonna get these freezes happening until someone updates a Chrome, your Chrome browser. On the desktop, uh, the most current version, the supported version, is on 82% of the devices that we see. Uh, only 18% have not updated to that most recent uh, device. Uh, as of today, uh, Amara and I were just looking at this, we're actually at version 105. So we're a little before, we're right around here. Um, and... Uh, the on the smartphone side, uh, they actually get a, a little better uh, adoption of the most recent devices. 88% of Android smartphones are running the most ver recent version of Chrome. So, uh, and Android and, and uh, Google are doing a pretty good job of pushing recent updates, which makes it uh, a makes puts them in a good position to to force this user agent uh, string freezing process. So, it, looking at the timeline, you can see that the freezing has already started on desktops. Uh, in fact, today we see fourteen percent of the desktop user agents um, 
strings that we're seeing are already frozen. Um, it's still a, a good way to go, um, but this is proof that the process is starting. Uh, we haven't seen anything yet on the mobile side, or it's negligible, let's put it that way. Um, and Amar, anything you want to add there? Uh, no, I mean, I think you, you said it right. Uh, it is a neg negligible amount of, that's on the mobile user agent status, yeah. mobile user agent side. Um, but it's going to happen, <laughs> so you, you should right. make sure you're prepared for it. <laughs> I think the, yeah, and, and if you're watching this, you really should prepare yourself uh, Look at our blogs. There's a kind of a, a you know three or four things that you need to do in order. If you're if you have a website uh, and you want accurate device detection, uh, or in your in the advertising industry and and you're keeping track of device detection, you need to set up your servers to request these client hints. Uh, and once once you've set them up, you're and feeding them into uh, Werfel. Werfel will reconcile the frozen ones with the client hints, decide which one's more accurate, and provide you an accurate answer around the device detection. Uh, the, the, there's another thing that uh, you should be aware of if you're not using Werfel. Uh, if you're using just a basic JavaScript user agent parser, those are going to break. Uh, we'll, we'll have more to say about that uh, in the next couple of months, but um, the, the technology they're using there really has not evolved and, uh, it's time to rethink your use of a user, just a, a plain user agent JavaScript, uh, parser. Um, those, those are going to really see some hard times in terms of accuracy in the coming months.